In this Pro Writing Aid review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software Pro Writing Aid. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discount and link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Pro Writing Aid. Pro Writing Aid is a software that saves you time with suggestions to your document. This is what you should see once you have downloaded the extension to your browser and pretty much first logged in or even logging in again and opening up the software. So there's a lot going on here. So for any beginners, it could be overwhelming. So I'm gonna quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review, I'm gonna dive deeper into each feature. So straight off the bat, we have this page right here where everything actually happens. Up in the top left-hand corner, we have the menu where you can actually file, export, and then you can edit all this stuff. You have some tools and then all of your profile settings. So that's the main menu area where you can go ahead and save your files. To the right of that, it says this is saved right now, and this is the document we are currently on. All the way to the right of that, we have a report section, and if you click on that, this pretty much just shows you all of the features of this software, from purchase to echoes to readability and stuff like that. Right here, it has the core sections, repeats, structure, readability, and the consistency. So you wanna go ahead and always check back with this once you're actually writing your document. To the right of that, we have then the settings, like a language setting, the general, like the document type, and then just the app settings. And then we have the share button all in the top right, comment section, and then a help section if you are struggling within the software, which is a pretty cool feature from the software developers. So this is the main area. We have this area on the left-hand side that shows our documents and where they are saved. And then this area on the right-hand side where it shows our goals and improvements for when we are actually writing. As it says here, your goals will show once you've entered some text. So this is the main section. This is where you wanna go ahead and actually start writing or even uploading your document, whether you're a storyteller or even just writing a non-fictional book. So right here, you can go ahead and actually start typing if you go ahead and click on it, or you can control V to paste if you wanna paste something you've already wrote or upload a document if you have a document with a story that you've already wrote or a document. So you can also view a sample if you want to like this and it pretty much just gives you a sample of everything going on and straight off the bat this might be confusing so I'm actually going to go ahead and go back for a second and we'll get more into that in a second. So as it says here once you've entered text the summary report is a good place to start. All the other reports will show suggestions directly in your text. So you want to go ahead and again paste your story and then get into the main settings and the main features of this software. So like you just saw, I'm gonna go ahead and actually view the sample again. So now we can see what this software actually does. And straight off the bat, as you can see, there is a lot going on, like I said before. So there's all this stuff on the right-hand side, like your goals and improvements, and then your reports at the top. So there's a lot going on right here, and you can see that this software does actually really help with how you are actually typing up your story or document. So you have your reports, and if you click on that, you can actually go through all of this. So we have our core reports right here. As you can see, we have the main real-time notifications. So what this software does is goes ahead and actually helps you and suggests some changes to your story or document. So again, on the right-hand side, we have the goals and then the reports. So before we go through anything, we're gonna go ahead and just see everything that's already been flagged within this document. So we have some words here that are flagged some phrases here that are flagged, and then some looks like grammar issues that are flagged as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the reports first up here. So again, once you click on the real time, it goes ahead and takes them all off. So you can actually pretty much get your bearings within this software. Once you turn it back on and get off the report section, on the right hand side is where you go ahead and start correcting your mistakes. So again, it says we have 52% goals and then 51% improvement. So our grammar and spelling is 33% down. Style score is 48%, 100% for style guide, and then all of these sections down here. So if we wanna go ahead and aim for zero mistakes in our work, like we said, we wanna go ahead and actually start correcting all of this. So like any other typing document, you can just click on it and it should start suggesting words which are actually ones you actually wanna use. So these right here are just normal spelling mistakes. So we'll read through it really quickly. Her tight boots twinged her feet as Jane scaled to the top of the rock face. So again, this is a spelling mistake. So we wanna go ahead and choose the right one once all of the other suggested ones pop up through the software. You can actually choose to ignore it if you wanna purposely have a spelling mistake or if it's a word that doesn't actually register with this software. If it's a word that doesn't register with the software, you wanna go ahead and actually add it to your dictionary 
So every time you then type it up after, it doesn't get flagged. So let's go ahead and click the right word for that. And it now says we don't have that flagged anymore. We can also do it with rock face. And as you can see, as we're doing this on the right hand side here, our grammar slash spelling mistakes are going up. Well, it's going to more of a perfection. So as we can see, we were on 35 or 34 a minute ago, and now we are on 38%. So you pretty much just wanna go through and everything that's been flagged, you wanna go through and actually correct it within the software. Same with this, it says bright and brilliant, and the software is saying, are you saying the same thing twice? So you wanna go ahead and actually choose one of these if you wanna go ahead and just keep it with one, or if you actually wanna stay with your bright and brilliant phrase, you can go ahead and actually just disable the rule if you want to, or click ignore. So we just went ahead and click ignore, and now it says that it's not been flagged anymore. So you can do this with pretty much anything. You can go through and just click on them and go ahead and actually click any of these and just make your story or document or anything 10 times better. It really helps with all of that and goes ahead and actually improves your document and all of your grammar slash spelling mistakes. Again, on the right hand side, our percentage is going up to more perfection. Same with the style score and the sentence length and everything like that. So that's pretty much it for this main section. You, you pretty much just have all of your goals on the right hand side and your improvements where you can go ahead and actually go through them. So now we're gonna go on to the improvements which says that we can actually go ahead and improve our document. So right here we have what could be possibly missing with our document, other things to consider and pretty much just improvements to make to your document if you wanna go ahead and consider what the software is suggesting. So if you wanna go ahead and actually import this all to the software, you can go ahead and actually fix all of these improvements, like the brow, possible missing comma, and then it says possible confused word for this one. And as you can see, I'm doing it as quick as you actually possibly can, and it's really easy to go ahead and start fixing. Again, same with this, fix it as quick as that. So as you're going through the software and through all of your mistakes, as you can see here, I've actually fixed most of them or the majority, and you can go ahead and see now our improvements has gone up, and how our goals has gone up as well. If you, want to, if you want to go ahead and actually dive deeper into each section, like the grammar and spelling and the style score, all you have to do is go ahead and click on it, wait for this to load, and then there's just a deeper section on how you can go ahead and actually check your grammar, spelling, and style and stuff like that. So other than that, this goals and improvements section is pretty much done. You can go ahead and actually start fixing all of your documents errors and everything that's been flagged and pretty much just make your whole document better. So again, I've done most of it and the majority. And once you are finished with it, you can go ahead and actually start saving your document. So what you wanna go ahead and do is actually click export up here and then it should go down here and actually export your file straight away and download it. And you've downloaded your file. You can also share it, like I said before, in the top right hand corner. You can go ahead and actually share it by email with your link to this document. You can also share it to a web, publish and share the link with everyone and pretty much just do that. Now, if you wanna go ahead and actually create another document, you go ahead to this left hand side, this section here, which you can actually hide, which we should have done before. You can actually click new document and it goes ahead and creates a new document as easy as that. You can see it's now created underneath this document here. But if you didn't want it to do that, you go on these three little dots and you can actually choose to share it, move it, open it in a new tab, rename it, duplicate it, copy the private link or delete it. So again, rather than saving it to this document, we can just go onto our recent and we can go ahead and actually create new document onto our private writing. You can go ahead and name it, let's just name it reviews, and then we're gonna click okay. And now we've got another document just above the one we had before, which is our new document. We can go ahead and start creating the same thing. Let's just type once upon time. There you go the same thing happens on the right hand side, like all of your goals. So again, because we've only wrote a few words, our goals have actually come up, probably telling us to actually write more and more sentences. So overall, it pretty much just really helps you improve your document and your story, and actually goes ahead and suggests really good grammar and spelling changes to your document. So again, you go ahead and actually click these three dots. I can share it and move it if I wanted to, just like that. And this software allows you to move it anywhere you want if you want to go ahead and actually create your own files and areas for your stories and there you go that is it for the pro writing aid software review overall i think it's a really great software and there are a lot of features that i personally like that are in this software 
the few features I like is how easy it is to actually go ahead and correct your grammar slash spelling mistakes and all of the other mistakes in the document. Like we saw in the test document, there was a lot of mistakes and we actually fixed them really fast and really easily by just clicking on them and fixing them and that's pretty much it. So for beginners, it is really straightforward and really easy to go ahead and understand and that's the features that I like. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Anyone, again, who's looking to actually write a long-winded document or a story, this is probably the best software to do that since there are a lot of features to help you actually correct it and it gets flagged and pretty much help you change your story in a better way overall. Would I use it myself? Yes, if I was writing a story myself, this is definitely the software I would use. Or if I was writing a document myself, the software that I would use is this one. Overall, I think it's a really great software. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.